welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general and love reading for the week of September 11th to, or I'm, I'm sorry, the 18th to the 24th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. For those of you that would like a private reading, would like to connect on Facebook, Instagram, all of my links are listed right underneath all of my videos, including a birth chart. We're going to do it the same way as last week. I am using the Tarot of Sexual Magic for the love portion. So, um, you know, you're loving Venus in love. And um, it's a very accurate site. All the links listed right below. Okay, so for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. So we all need to know. You feel good. I am using um, the spellcasters to wrote this week. Central issues, the Page of Pentacles. And this could definitely be an offer. Four of Cups. You're contemplating, contemplating, taken, taking, and the Lovers. Notice the Lovers card in this deck, okay? I do not consider this a decision, you know, a choice between you know, two people. You know, there's love here, okay? You got to look at the depiction on the card. So with the Page of Pentacles, you know, definitely an offer. Could be a new job. You know, it's an offer that's that's grounded. It's practical. But the Four of Cups, you know, this is feeling emotionally flat, bored. You know, this one, this could be even, I feel, even being a little bit stubborn in this particular deck. You know, just being a little bit stubborn. You know, because, you know, I mean, look at these two cards. You're totally looking away. It's like, you know. No, I don't want nothing to do with none of it. I'm good with what I got. You know, then we have the lovers. I feel like there's an opposition here. I feel like one person is feeling one way and another person is feeling another way. And it feels like the main focus you know I mean it could be in your material world but it's gonna get some more cards the chariot but it could also be in your love life too the three of wands the page of cups So, a cancer it could be important. And I do feel like you're taking a chance and going for it. You know, like, you know, especially in this deck, you know, I feel like you're definitely willing to go the distance. This seems like a very long, long road. But there's abundance in it. And, and, and it's a chance worth taking. But I do feel like with the Four of Cups...
even even you know the four of cups but more so with the page of cups but okay but maybe for some of you you're, you're taking a chance you're going for it Someone could absolutely be encourage, her, encouraging you, you know, to do that. I feel definitely with the Four of Cups and kind of with the Page of Cups. You know, maybe in the past you just weren't in the mood for love. Someone came along, you know, and encouraged you to open your heart. And you're just like, and if it's not you, it could be the person that you're involved with. It's just, you know, I, I feel like you're just letting go and taking action in love and, and letting it just flow. I feel like you're just going to really let these horses just take the lead and go with the flow. You know, this Page of Cups is abs absolutely, you know, an offering that's felt on an emotional level, okay? Under the Lovers, I, I, I almost feel like, you know, you definitely got this new cup. It's overflowing. You know, you're taken over, and over by emotion, abundance. You know, some of you could even, you know, you could be offering your cup of love to somebody. You know, in the past, you know, it was probably mutual. I do feel like in the past, you know, you just weren't accepting of love or your emotions. You know, and now it's taking you... It's taking you over. You're overwhelmed with all of it. But in this page of cups, you know, there there is three people in this, you know, in this deck, you know, and it is a, it is about in this deck to, you know, having fun. But I do kind of feel like That somebody could be, you know, pushing you toward this. You know, you're being stubborn or someone else is. But you're being encouraged. By other people, I feel, to, to take the risk. Even if it is, you know, in your in your you know, career, your 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 you know, a new job. I'm just not feeling it that way because this is this is not about making a decision in this deck. It's just not. It's just not. All right, let's clarify that. We're going to use the Thelema to clarify. Couple, couple cards. And especially with the Page of Cups being under that, it, this is definitely a love. But that's definitely all love. And someone is absolutely willing to go the distance to make this even work out. To do whatever it takes. They're planning. Somebody's planning. And getting ready to take action. Definitely. All right, these these two want to go for sure. The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry. 
Nine of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is taking a stand, having strength and courage with the Nine of Wands. Absolutely. You know, for some of you contemplating it. But also, you know, ha having the, the... I feel like having to get through it, really. Having the strength and the courage, that inner strength to get through something. Whatever it is that you're working hard on with the Page of Pentacles, like a new job, a new home, assets, starting your own business, there is success here. Financially, too, in a really good place, feeling really grounded. There's a lot of communication regarding it, whether it's love, career, finances. It's beautiful. You know, things are, you know, cycles are completing. New beginnings and whatever it is, however it resonates. Let's get some love cards. <coughs> so sorry, Leo. Um, FYI, these are sexually explicit. Um, if you're eight, eight under 18, you probably should leave. And if they're offensive, I, I'm, I am very sorry. Um, but, you know, it ends beautifully here for you if you're not into, if you're offended with these cards. Okay. Leo, sun, moon, and rising signs. Okay, we have cards falling out for you guys. What do we got? Definitely these two. King of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. The sun is pure happiness and bliss between two people. Somebody definitely could be overthinking something, maybe. The Knight of Pentacles, this is definitely, you know, this is rushing into something. You know, if you notice in this in this card, you know, he's handing her a lemon. Right? It's not quite ripe yet. This is a card about rushing into love. Let's get some more cards. Ace of Swords, High Priestess, and the Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords is all about building trust. With this card, I feel like it's saying Like, are you going to tie me up? Are you going to hurt me? What exactly is, is going to go on? So this is about getting to know someone and trusting them. You know, opening up to trusting them. Someone is trying to make a careful decision about you or vice versa. Because we do have someone rushing in. You know, you, you need to think about this. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, you know, is about complete bliss with each other. Um, 
The Seven of Pentacles is you taking a spiritual break. You know, there's healing happening here. There's healing for this for this happiness. Let's pull some clarifiers. Just looking to see if I'm getting anything else here. Okay, let's pull some clarifiers. swords and the wheel of fortune okay you know, there, there's fear of heartbreak here I feel like a fear of things moving too fast trying to make a decision on whether or not you know, they could trust you. You know, and then with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it comes in to tell you that you know, you're on the right path. You know, this is karma, destiny. Things happening the way that they're meant to happen. You know, it's it really is absolutely beautiful. Um, nice. I like it. All right, let's get you... with the four swords too that could be that that kinky sex I'm just saying <laughs> that but it's kind of unemotional too okay these are the romance angels cards Keepers. Oh my goodness. Okay, and okay. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost, innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you're getting to know each other. You're, you know, you're definitely building on that trust. Probably truth and clarity coming through. I like it. The divine director, intervention and purpose. So... What this card is basically about is, you know, divine intervention is taking place. You know, it's about just like, the, almost like the Wheel of Fortune. Look at these two cards together. How unbelievably, like, beautiful and spiritual does this look? Your psychic abilities. 
just beautiful. And, it, and it, it's about karma too. And, um, you know, that the things that are occurring in your life, you know, is providing a real, it's a learning curve for your soul. You know, you're becoming aware of a sense of purpose in your life. It gives you a sense of joy. It's something that brings you great pleasure, you know, rather than something that you have to, to work for. You know, your career can complement your purpose, you know, but it doesn't define it. You know, but the path that you're on at this time is right, you know, and the universe is encouraging, encouraging you, you know, to move forward. You know, before I said it, you know, it was other people. You know, listening to your intuition, you know, definitely, it, and your spirit guides could absolutely be what's guiding you, pushing you for, for however this resonates for you. But, you know, Leo, for some of you, honestly, the wheel is definitely turning in your favor. It's like now. It's it's now. You know, this could be an offer for a new job. You know, but it's something that's definitely felt on an emotional level. You know, but it could be a new job. It could be a love offer. You know, you know, definitely with the Page of Pentacles, I think you're, you know, you're, you're just probably doing right by waiting, you know, because what's coming in for you is what's meant to be. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Leo. I hope it helps you guys out for the week. Thank you guys for taking the time to view the video. Have a beautiful week, and I will see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.